Hey Pyle, so it's uh, February 2022 and just um, thank you to one of the guys on the channel just requested another video on the King Tiger. So yeah, this is a Tamiya King Tiger 1 16th scale and it is from 1981. So if I remove this man here, man on the turret, and place this here a second, just on top there, gently, flip it over and you can see there King Tiger 1981 one16th Now I don't know if this if this is actually an original one from that that time. I've had it for about fifteen years. I mean, I presume Tamiya wouldn't have reused the date if they'd remade the model. And and I know they did re um, and I know they did remake the model, but I wouldn't have thought they would have stamped it nineteen eighty one. You know, but but maybe they did. I'm not sure. But either way, I've had this one for about fifteen years in very good condition. So that's a turret there. So in the turret here, and you can see here it's got the part here for the strobe. And that runs off um, some um, C-size batteries, which are just in there. And obviously the turret turns around on here. And then basically when you um, activate uh, this part here, but on one of the channels, it press, presses downwards there. And then it fires that little red micro switch there, which then causes the strobe to light up just there. So that's how, that's how it works. Obviously these days, you know, you wouldn't need, you just use an LED or something, but that's got a proper... Um, you know, resistors, um, strobe effect, all that sort of stuff in, in that particular unit. And obviously you can adjust it from um, high to low on that setting as well, on, off, and manual. So that's pretty cool. Now that did work when I first used it, but I haven't used it since, you know. So um, I assume it still works. So in here you've got the, the metal gearbox. You've got a, what, a single 540 motor operated by, um, on here, by two, two clutches here, operated by this lever here. So obviously when you're driving along and you, and you press left, you know, it, um, you know, it engages or disengages one clutch or the other, which then causes that, tr that track then to obviously to lose power on that, on that, uh, on, on here. And obviously then no power is transmitted through to the wheels and obviously then, then that makes it then turn on the spot. And obviously it goes the other direction, you know, it disengages the other clutch and it turns the other way. That, that, that kind of gist. I forget if it's disengaged or engages, it's one or the other. It probably, I'd imagine it probably um, disengages this one side so it can turn the other way. Um, but yeah, and then you've got all, all the metal gears here, which I just say just lightly, I just cleaned them up ages ago, lightly greased them, and um, that's it since then. Um, obviously, this part here is the part here which turns the turret, a little motor on there. Tiny motor there ran through with loads of um, gears. Then you've got the three speed um, forward speed controller and reverse on it. This is a bit crappy actually, I probably should do that at some point, but again, that's been on there since since I got it. So um, that's obviously the servo there, which probably, that servo there, I'm just feeling that that probably operates um, on and off here, I, I suspect, for the um, strobe. I can't imagine what else that one there would do down there, because that's the servo there that does the clutch, and also that servo there does the um, throttle. And then obviously you've got the um, resistor part here, which goes off on here, the heat shrink. And then you've got the receiver there, original Futaba um, four channel receiver running on brown crystals. Um, got a spare uh, one of these, for some reason attached on there. Um, battery box there for, for the receiver. And then of course you have your normal battery here. I actually run a 7.2 volt battery, just, just, just plonk it in there and it's absolutely perfect. Um, I think when some of these came out, they had a big square battery, a big sort of uh, lead acid battery. I think I think they were maybe sort of six volts, sort of heavy, heavier unit. But yeah, I run this off seven point two volts, and it's absolutely spot on. And obviously on the back here, you've got the aerial for for the um, receiver, and then you've got your details on the back there, which is pretty sweet. You've got on here, you've got the plastic tracks on this particular model, and um, what. I don't know what the wheels are made out of, they're made out of metal or not. I mean, they sort of look, they do look metallic on top. So I'm not sure for metal or plastic, but they do look metal on top. I guess they could be metal, I'm not sure. But pretty sweet. And then of course, um, what you do is you can you pull these pins out here, just out of there. And you pull the pins out and then you can take the tracks off. And then you can obviously add, I think if one breaks, you can add one in very, very easily. And keep a few, keep, keep a few on, on the sides here and stuff like that. As well, and I know that I've taken one off the side at one point to to put on here to replace a broken one, but I think I've literally broken up one track on there, just like split at one point. 
Another look underneath. Metal chassis, really nice. And I say this goes absolutely awesome. Awesome these, these vehicles are. And obviously this is a, this is a standard four channel attack. So obviously you've got this, this up and down here. And obviously say what these what these do basically is these say um op operate the tank to go forwards and backwards and obviously the clutch, you know, the clutch so it's, you know, it's able to turn you left and right and then these ones here operate the um the turrets. Now I haven't actually run this for for uh, since last summer, so it's one way or the other. I apologize if that's which round it was, but um, one on the other side that operates the tank, and the other side operates the um, the turret plus the firing of this on here. So it's all done. It's all done from from these two here. There's no other buttons on it. So yeah, sorry about the vague detail, but I, I haven't run it since September. Sorry, since um June last year. Sorry, but yeah, there we go. There it is. I hope this has some interest to you. And they are absolutely fabulous, fabulous tanks. And I say, they weigh a good old bit, these things do. And they're absolutely, absolutely beautiful, these things. Cool. Nice one. Cheers.